Lord bless everyone. And today, in Mr. Kakalidi Speaks His Mind, I would like to ask the question, why is our farmers losing their lands while Bill Gates and China are gaining our lands? <clears throat> Yet we're saying, well, we'll go against China, this and this and that, but we'll give them our land too. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The Biden administration is seeking this nation's downfall. But let's listen to this. Let's listen to some of the news heading. First, I want to show you that farmers are losing their land. Let's let's listen to that first. Farmers are losing their land. And if they're losing their land, what does all this mean? So I'm going to explain and I'm going to say what this all means. Uh, we'll play the clip right now. Population growth in Central Texas lately. Rural land is being snatched up by developers and people looking to build. 25 News reporter Caleb Chevalier explains the major impact that is having on local tenant farmers. The Waco housing boom has barely cooled off after a red-hot summer. The enticing prospects of living in Central Texas have people rushing to buy new houses. Except the houses aren't going up fast enough, so people are building their own. Land prices have exploded as a result. It's really good for sellers. But if sellers are looking to buy again, then they're, they're also buying new property or new real estate that has also gone up on average like 20% year over year. Landlords who are intent on just selling are able to make a serious payday. The eagerness to capitalize on the market has led to the overturning of farmland. If they aren't a third, fourth generation farmer that's had land handed to them, they can't survive. And unfortunately, a lot of them are getting land sold out from underneath them. Without inherited land, farmers usually lease land from other landlords. Some of those landlords have been looking to turn the land into a hefty check, leaving the farmers without a field to earn their living. I'm seeing a lot of people that have had family land that have just been holding on to it um, in hopes of maybe passing it down or not selling it. Now they're kind of thinking about selling it because the prices are just too good to pass up. The selling of family land isn't happening just because people are seeing dollar signs. Some farmers have come to the hard realization that without fields to plow, selling their land may be necessary to turn a profit. I've seen a lot of farmers selling out because they can make more off their land than they are their crops right now. For farmers that still rely on leased land, they've had to either search out new leases or accept the losses and hope that farmland next year won't be whisked away. In Waco, Caleb Chevalier, 25 News. Now, I want to just say something. When they give out free groceries to, to the churches to give out to people, most of that free groceries comes from farms. <clears throat> and these farms are being taken out of the way. Lots of our foods come from farms. Now, these farms are losing business because their land is being taken from them. And this is a big issue because it has to do with our food. Bill Gates has thousands of land. He has bought many, many of land and other rich people as well bought a lot of land. Let's listen to this. Now it's going to be playing. Bill Gates owns more land than all of the entire city of New York. Jeff Bezos' land is double the amount, clocking in at 420,000 acres. John Malone, the largest private landowner in America, owns 2.2 million acres all by himself, a landmass slightly smaller than the island of Puerto Rico. America is enormous, yet 100 of the richest and largest private landowners in America own 1.86% of all the land available in the United States. <clears throat> Listen, they're buying off the farmer's lands and they're buying off lands like crazy. Are they, what are they planning to do with those lands? And can we really trust Bill Gates with anything? 
This is a man that wants to reduce the population growth. This is a man when he bought baby formula, um, baby milk, what happens? There's Now there's lack of baby milk. This is a man that buys stuff and then there's lack of it. He doesn't care for Americans. Now, China is also profiting in and buying American land. China is buying land. Katie, I want to start with you. Latest on the council that I've heard is that they actually approved this, this Chinese farm uh, near an Air Force base. You are the only one who voted no, Katie. Uh, Tell us why. Um, Well, there's a couple of different reasons why. Um, I think that for my constituency, it's really important because it is... Know something before before it continues. They, they they buy it they buy the land close to our um bases our, our where where we have our airplanes jets um armies and stuff it is going to be the closest to my ward. Um, we have a lot of industrial um, buildings and businesses in our area where there is a significant um, odor that happens with them. There also are trucks. There are also trains. Um, there's a, a significant impact for residents in our area um, that is based on just development. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just it does impact my ward specifically. I also had a lot of interactions with residents in my ward Um, who had lots of questions. And so for me, it was important to vote no until we got more answers. I think that... um, This is a Chinese lady speaking right there. And she's saying no to the Chinese. She's voting no for them to have this land. But yet, nevertheless, they got the land. Um, we also could have slowed down our timeline of implementation, and that would have given us a little bit more time for people to engage in a way that they felt uh, more comfortable or perhaps more heard or more opportunity to engage. Um, so there's a lot of different reasons of, of why I chose to vote no at, at that juncture. Katie, what percentage of the people in your ward would you say are against this Chinese-owned farm? I don't know if I would be so bold as to say that there's a percentage I could come up with. Um, People who feel very strongly one way or the other are the ones that typically will reach out. Um, So I've definitely had folks who were not not for the development for a lot of different reasons reach out to me. But I also had um, farmers and businessmen and women in the community reach out to me that were in support of its development. So I would say at this point, probably for the folks that reached out to me, um, it would be maybe half and half, but that's certainly not speaking for the entire ward. Okay, half and half. Interesting. Jeannie, on the farm, you saw the graphic there, 15 miles away from this um, from this Air Force base. I read the statement that the Air Force put out. Do you think, Jeannie, it's just a coincidence that they want to build this farm so close to the base? Is it something that concerns you? I know you, uh, you, recused, you recused yourself from the vote. Yeah, so um, it was important for me to recuse myself because I worked at an engineering company that um, was involved with some of the task orders that were associated with that development agreement. Um, so I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any impropriety or something. Thank you for watching. 15 miles from the airbase. 15 miles from the airbase. That's, that's something, you know. Um... Look at this. Our farmers, which if Biden was for America, he'll be giving our farmers grants, helping them gain more land, helping them produce crops and all this. But yet, he's not helping them. He's not helping the farmers, which... When Trump was in charge, he was helping the farmers. But Biden don't care about the farmers. <laughs> and yet these these people are other people are um, Bill Gates and these other rich people and and the, and the and the and the Chinese are getting our land. 
th- this is something serious. <clears throat> no wonder Biden doesn't want America to produce oil. You know why? Because he wants to sell that land to the Chinese, to Bill Gates and the other rich people. While our poor farmers that need our help is being not helped. They need land to farm so we could have food. So, So if something was to happen, America would be safe. America now is depending on other lands. <clears throat> instead of depending on themselves. And what's going to happen is going to be America's downfall. There might be famine in America if our lands are being taken away from us instead of being given to the farmers so they could grow crops and they could sell it and they could also help other people, especially the hungry <clears throat> Where do we get the food again in the churches to, to give to the, to those in need, to those who are hungry? We get it from farmers. We Re- read the boxes. This is from American farmers. The potatoes, the, the lettuce, the cabbage, the carrots, the beets, they're from American farmers. <clears throat> the milk and everything else is from American farmers. And American farmers are being taken down. And where is beloved Biden? Has he caught COVID again? So he could hide away and pretend like he's sick or something? Well, our nation is under attack. That's right, because he wants, he wants, he wants Russia soon. I won't be surprised if soon he'll sell land to Russia too. <clears throat> Maybe that's next. Maybe he's planning to sell land to Russia. Maybe soon here, Russia bought 5,000 acres of land or something. Because China bought acres of land. And Bill Gates, Bill Gates owes enough land that's bigger than New York. That's land. That's a lot of land. And he's not, he's probably not intending to put farmers there. Anyway, that, if you, if you could farm in your backyard and, and grow a crop and, and make a little greenhouse in your backyard, go ahead. Because there might be a time when you're probably going to have to depend on that food, on that farming of your own. Because you probably won't find it in the supermarkets and you won't find it in no churches giving out food. Because the rich have bought our land, they bought our food, (laughs) and they want also to have... I, I don't drive. I walk everywhere. I, t- I take public transportation. But for those who drive, <clears throat> the rich also wants us to drive electric cars. And in New Jersey, $4,000 took it off the price because they really want you to buy it. They want you to buy a car for $62,000. And us poor folks, we can't afford it. And... Why do we want to spend two hours or more in a gasoline, in an electricity station getting our car recharged? With gasoline, everything is so easy. <clears throat> and these cars, a great, a good family won't fit there. But anyway, this is what's bugging me today. And I wish to share with you. And I hope you pray for America because America really needs it. Lord bless.